What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm graced with Eric, the younger Chevy Chase right here. Right? Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. You made this may look familiar. <laughs> you're this, welcome. You're welcome. This may look familiar to you guys because it looks like we just put one of these up a week or two ago. We did, but this is the gas-powered version powered by a gas-powered Briggs, Briggs and Stratton, Stratton engine. Now, what's so good about, we're gonna get into uh, my love hate with mowers and my experience with this in a second, but let's talk to Eric. What, what's so special about this Briggs and Stratton engine? Um, well, you're one thing I didn't know that you were telling me is you never need to add oil. No, you know, you'd have to add oil. You never need I'm to sorry, change you never need oil. to change oil. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, we're, really we're kind cool. of thinking to ourselves, I'm not, you guys comment below if you guys know about that, but I'm pretty sure it burns through the oil. It's burning through the oil it has somehow. Because if all you're doing is adding it, it's got to just be burning right. it. Because if you never change it, it's going to go bad. It's going to get dark. It's going to get black, right? So maybe there's an uh, acceptable amount that goes in here that goes through the season. I don't know. Yeah, that's I don't know pretty how that works. impressive. And it's also guaranteed to start. Yes. So, yep. and it started for us at first pull, except for the very first time we put gas in it. It was about three pulls. Well, only reason because I didn't have this down. And Eric didn't have that down. So, so I could have started. That's more user error. I know the last Briggs we tested, what was it, a year, two years ago? I mean, yeah, that pulled up right away. Yeah. I think, I'm, I don't remember if it was an inverter or whatever it was, but. Right. Anyway. So, if you're obviously been on the channel a while, you know we're always touting electric. We're always like, bad to gas, bad to gas, right? Well, that's how I was going into this review. First thing, we get it. You roll it out of the box. Most electrics just push out of the box. This one, you have to actually put the arm. This on. was a lot more assembling, I felt like. Yeah, I mean, even though it wasn't that much, it was no. like three screws, but still. To us, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, you had to assemble it, right? So we got it out of the box, and then it comes with a box or a quart of oil or whatever. So we put the oil in it. Right away, I spilt the oil. So I got it all over the side. And like, oh. So in my mind, I'm like, man, this is why I don't like gas. I don't, you know, gas sucks, Eric. And they're like, yeah, I like gas. I'm like, I don't know, you're crazy to like gas. We pull it outside, we start it, we start working with it. Wow, it brought back just, it's just, just the smell, the power, the feel. Doesn't and, it just feel powerful? Yeah. I mean, it's just something, I don't know if it's the sound or what it is, but it's just. And you could take the best quality electric mower out there and this just feels better with the gas with it i mean it just feels more like mowing so maybe it kind of took me back to a time when i was a naysayer to electrics right i mean obviously electrics have a huge advantage yes. now this has a huge advantage too if you got longer field stuff like that or you just like that power right so every mower has its advantage and disadvantage so luckily toro is giving you two um two flavors per se or two uh, engine option. So you got the one that's powered by Briggs and you have the one that's electric, yes. right? Yep. But the one that powered by Briggs, they didn't just put an engine on it. They used the Briggs engine, mm -hmm. which is going to give you that guaranteed to start that you don't need to change the oil. Um, 7.25 horsepower, 163 cc's, right? Yes. Yes. What do you know about Briggs? Briggs, great company. They've been around for a long time and make a lot of small engines. It's not just for this. So they've got experience in it. And to me, that's huge. But I mean, honestly, it's our experience that we've had with Briggs. I've never had a problem with Briggs that we've yeah, been doing, it seems you know? Yeah, run and start all yeah. the time. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it is weird just having a gas powered piece of equipment here, you know? But it I is. mean, now saying. What else that, do you have in here that's gas powered? Nothing. Your generator's not even anymore. You don't have a generator that's or propane inverter. powered on the house. No, but I mean, like, you don't have a portable one? Nope. Yeah, isn't it weird? It is weird. At this shop, I have a gas-powered pressure washer, though. Yeah. Because I feel some things... Gas has still got its place. Yeah, you still need gas on certain things, right? And the people that are, like, looking for those gas lawnmowers want it. I mean, this is a quality lawnmower. This is one of those lawnmowers that you buy, and your neighbor's like, wow, that's a nice lawnmower. You know, they're going to come up. It's going to be reliable. It's going to get your cuts. You miss a lawn cutting. You're out of town for a week, you know? It's going to be able to go through that deep stuff yep. to get it. We did Especially that fall stuff, too, after, you know... You get rain and stuff gets packed down and yep. all that. The leaves so. and stuff. Leaves. We did the three and one on it. Three and one did pretty good at mulching, side discharge, and also bagging. We went through some leaves. Yeah. Um, a couple cool features yeah. I want to talk about. It's a 22 inch, uh, 22 inch deck. I don't know if we talked about. But one thing I really like steel about steel deck. Steel deck. Yes. I love this right here. So most mowers have a plug you take in and out, depending if you're going to mulch or bag. This one's integrated, so you don't lose it. All it is is just a lever. But while well, that's cool, my favorite thing is a personal pace. I still, best one on the market. I can't think of anyone who makes something even close to a self-propelled 
that operates like this. Right, because most self propellers you just hit the throttle and go. It's a fixed speed, right? Well, sometimes yeah. you walk faster, sometimes you walk slower. Yeah. But depending on the incline also. With the personal pace, you basically are just pushing it, and there's a spring in there that's pushing it away from you. So it's it's gauging that tension that you're putting on it, yes. and it's keeping that speed ahead, which is... Which is it's yeah. awesome. It's Unless great. you ex really experience it, it's pretty amazing, yeah. you know? And uh, we always talk that with Toro, and like he, Eric said, no one, like, there's good other versions out there, but nothing has come good as to just the hands-off experience you get mm -hmm. when you're doing the personal pace. Um, so uh, one thing, like just like the electric too, we didn't like is the four corner height adjustment. We just feel that that's just something that should be just gone. I understand this is a lot heavier mower. Maybe it involves bigger springs, the engineer's weight. I don't know, but you know, in the next iteration of this, I would love to see that just one. But they don't have it on the gas or on the battery powered one either. No. That you know, and yeah. to me, it's like okay, at least have it on that one. But I don't that. Yeah, if you're gonna go with this engineering right here, again, a lot of you people are just gonna set it at you know spot three, and you're done for the rest of the mower's life. You're never gonna move it again, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, sometimes for me testing all the time, I'm moving it so I notice it more. And I don't know if you change yours. I do all the time. So summer and fall I have it lower. Um, summer, I'm sorry, spring and fall I have it lower. And then in summertime when the heat's out there, I have it actually higher. You cool. Know? You can hear. But I'm moving it all the time. Oh, what's that? You can hear a gas mower back there. Yeah. 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 People love their gas, know, man. They're not gonna yeah. get away from it. You know, it's like a little It's got some advantages, car. you know? Yeah. So So it's pretty crazy. So alright you guys, peace out. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Toro. Don't forget to check out Briggs and Stratton and let us know what you guys think and uh peace out. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.